What's up, everybody? Jay here from DS Tech Media in the new studio, which is sort of a mess and not quite set up just yet. Doing a new distro review here, and instead of running it in the other studio as a VM, I've actually installed it on some real hardware here, and I've got impromptu recording set up. Got Rode Video Micro running into the GoPro. And then for the capture, we got the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus recording to the card. And this laptop is actually a pretty cool Dell Precision M4700. Uh, it has a uh, Intel Core i7 inside. Pretty old, but this would have been like a true power book, I think, in the time when it came out. It's got AMD Fire Pro Mobile 4700 graphics. It's pretty thick, and even if... One of the more unique things about it is this uh, docking port. So you can set this into a dock and... It could run out to multiple displays that were plugged into the dock. A ton of unique things about this laptop. Got three click buttons here and three here, which is kind of odd. You don't see these much anymore, except for I think the Dell ThinkPad still have them. Old school mouse. That, if you're not used to it, it's kind of weird, but a lot of people still love them. So that's why uh, ThinkPads, IBM, well now Lenovo ThinkPads have them. But the other cool thing about it is the sheer amount of input output this thing has so actual dvd drive an sd card slot with a fake dummy sd port cover a much larger ec card reader dedicated in and out microphone and headphones the 1394 is, I believe, a Firewire port, two USBs. Um, if we come around back here, we've got Ethernet, external SATA connection, HDMI connection, which is what's running out to my uh, Aver Media, and a DVI connection. Not to mention, on the other side here, another two USB ports. I think these might be USB 3.0s and that's a display port connection. There's also room to install the hard drive. I believe the hard drive pops out from here and a hard Wi-Fi kill switch, which is also very cool. Not the uh, most stunning laptop today, but for its time, this was a pretty, pretty cool setup. The biggest drawback about this one that I found is the display with 1280 by 720, I think. So not the greatest display. When I do the review, I'm considering possibly hooking it up to that display. Pretty excited about doing uh, the Pop! OS review. I haven't used it much, but I've done, done a little bit of research so I know what to highlight. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So look for the Pop! OS video. I have not recorded it yet, but I should be starting tonight. Oh, and I'm putting out a song and a music video. That I think is going to be pretty cool, so there's that. Anyways, lots of exciting stuff on the way. If you're not familiar, uh, DS Tech Media is my channel. I cover everything tech, specializing in open source software and Linux, but also music, audio, graphics production, etc. and so forth. Uh, we do hardware videos and test out various things. Microphones, GoPros, um, capture cards, Android, everything. Anything and everything tech. So if you're into that sort of stuff, maybe check it out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.